sanity finally returned to the American political discourse today when one of John McCain's top advisers, Carly Fiorino, admitted that in her opinion, Sarah Palin wasn't qualified to do Carly's old job, that job being the CEO of Hewlett Packard. So as Americans, can we do everything in our power to keep Palin away from printers? As office workers, when our printer cartridges run out, we just want new ones from Office Depot. We don't want some crazy zealot saying that God told her to build a billion dollar pipeline to bring printer ink all the way down from Alaska. We need a CEO who'll acknowledge that printers have evolved from the first time that man put pigment on his hand and made a cave painting. We need someone smart enough to recognise that Gutenberg was an important figure in the history of printing, not an actor who appeared in four marginally funny Police Academy movies. When our nation's children reach printing puberty, we need someone willing to educate them that when someone wants to put his hockey stick in your lady goal, that eventually, about nine months later, a blurry copy of yourself will come out. We don't need someone who's only willing to teach reproductive abstinence. After all, who at one point hasn't looked at some really amazing pussy, and by that I mean a really funny lolcat, looked at the print now button and thought, I'd hit that. Of course, you know what they say, the more amazing the pussy, and by that I mean really funny lolcat, the longer the line for the printer. It's just the way it goes. Anyway, when our nation's photocopier's jammed, we don't want someone standing next to it, looking at it the way John McCain looks at the internet, with a mixture of baffled incomprehension and a sort of sad nostalgia for when office memos were passed around on giant stone tablets. Nor do we need someone who's going to shoot the photocopier, then stand there going, sorry folks, what can I say? For a minute it looked like a polar bear. As Barack Obama has helpfully pointed out, if you take the same tired old black and white printer that you've used for the past eight years and put lipstick on it, that doesn't change it into a fancy new laser jet printer, it just means you've got a crappy old black and white printer with lipstick on it. At least I think that's what the metaphor was all about. So on behalf of America's printing enthusiasts, let's do all we can to keep Sarah Palin away from the Hewlett Packard boardroom. Clearly, we'd be a lot safer if she was just a heartbeat away from President John McCain's Oval Office. After all, if she actually gets in there, we know there won't be any computers for her to screw around with. This video is supplied for Palin's corporate cock-up purposes only. So later today, Carly Fiorina did come out and say that what she meant was none of the four candidates are really qualified to run a large American corporation. And frankly, if you believe that kind of backpedaling bullshit, I'm printing a sign for you that says it's over for America. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, don't forget to rate it. Rate it anywhere up to five. If she can't run laser jets, keep her away from fighter jets. That's five. If she can't run laser jets, keep her away from fighter jets. Or as ever, come up with your own rating system. Leave it in the comments. See you next time. Cheers.